You, we need to get out of Illinois. Fast. That's for fucking sure. I'm fucking, ooh. I'm so fucking pissed off these people. I never thought these people were like this, but man, when you get in it, you're, it, it's a fucking yeah. big old, it's a mess. They never even told me why I was taken away from my mother. They won't even tell me why they took my kids away. Oh, and they found a file from DCFS from when I was six years old. When I got, well, I was taken from my mom before, but they found one from when I was six when my freaking real dad molested me and wanted to sit here and question me about it. <sighs> Dude, I flipped. <sighs> that shit I don't talk about. Everybody knows that. I don't talk about that shit. I'm 34 years old. I have not talked about that shit since I got out of counseling, and they made me go back to counseling to talk about it. Because they want to use things against you. They want to put you in a certain place in your head and don't let them. You don't let them. If you got... Do they have me? Ooh. They, should, they have me they on bipolar have medicine. The old file. They have me on anxiety medicine. Get they off of it. On. Stop mm. taking I it. I haven't been taking it. Good. I haven't been taking it. Okay, so listen to this. Listen to where they put Haley. Where? Okay, you would have thought Janie and Tony would have taken Michaela, right? No. Yes. Seth, one of their kids died in a car accident, supposedly, right? Uh-huh. Okay. And... and I mean, it's all over the place saying he died, all right? And Janie couldn't take Michaela because, you know, she was having a hard time. So that's why Vicky got her. Now, okay. Janie took Haley and put her in the fucking dead kid's room. Uh -uh. Why would DCFS, or in family court, allow Haley to have to go live with the man's father when she's not even related to him? Who abused her? No. I'm not playing. That's okay. So they took. I had mine place with my friend at the time, Christy. Uh, she had gotten into a domestic dispute with her girlfriend, and they tried to tell me my kids couldn't be removed. And I also found out she was selling drugs out of her house in front of my kids. And I reported all this. I screenshotted everything that was being sent yeah. to me. I took sent the video. Tell me why. They took my kids out of my home saying that me and Jesse were domestic violence. Because they want these kids to be abused because they can control them easier. And most kids can't, most human beings cannot sit there and get out of that abuse in their head. They're stuck there. Okay, so either they have their own issues with drugs and alcohol or they are abusive. Very few are able to come out and be okay and fight it, you know? Not accept the, the defeat of uh, abuse. All right, so it it's a cycle they try two, to keep people in. They took it. It took them two weeks to get my kids out of there, and the only reason why my kids got moved was because Grandma got Grandma contacted a good lawyer, and they were moved that same exact fucking day. Yeah, and they're also trying to pay their lawyers. Okay, they keep telling me I have to go get a lawyer. I have to go get a lawyer. I have to go get a lawyer. Okay, well, what happens if you're poor and you don't have a lawyer? Exactly. You know, that's, you oh, know, I've, they, oh, I've got someone right here who's willing to pay for a lawyer. But what about these people who don't? Who can't afford one. Exactly. There's a process to this, and I'm getting to the bottom of it. Okay? I'm getting to the bottom of it, and I'm exposing these motherfuckers. Because you know what? Uh, th this system doesn't need to be broken like this. There are real yeah. fucking kids that really need help that should be allowed to yeah. go in this system and get real help. Not purposely yep. put them in the system to make sure they need real help. Exactly. Exactly. It's all about money, and it's a cycle they try to make sure you they, stay in generation after generation after generation. Do you know that uh, the judge is being paid by DCFS and all of them? To yes. Keep this court, keep it going? I do. I have. The I have. Are scared. I know they are. I have documents. I have documents saying that Brett, um, Brett's lawyer, filed a motion to reconsider funding for his fitness. So I called up the supervisor of the woman who took my children, okay, of the investigator who took my children, and I said, what is this, you know, what is funding? Oh, that's supposed to say finding. Well, how come it's on two of the documents? Because funding to me means money. Who's, who's funding yep. this? Vicki? Exactly. Okay. Probably. Why? Why are they so scared? Why are these judges so scared to fucking 
You know, is it about the money? Do they want the money? Are they are they dabbling in some satanic fucking? You know, have you watched the Fall of Cabal? Uh. -uh. I'm about to open your brain up, Kara. The lawyer that uh. The I'm going to tell you something. George, they are seriously the saying they have been breeding children underground, torturing them. They pull out their penile gland through their fucking nose and they eat this shit, right? And it's supposed to make them stay younger and give them this fucking crazy yeah. ass power, okay? And they are harvesting children and women and men down there. And from what I'm experiencing, they are feeding us human meat. I'm not even playing. You need you need to watch this thing. And when I started to expose, see, this is what they did. They took my kids because I started talking about, and all of a sudden my life started making sense, my past, okay? Mm -hmm. And I was putting pieces together, okay, of my past, and somehow and they didn't like it. Exactly, and I was talking about it. I was talking about the abuse. I was talking about, you know, the satanic rituals. And I was talking about the, you know, weird food and stuff like that. And all of a sudden, my kids are being taken. And I'm being arrested in New York. And I've got my dancing knives, my props, in my yeah. truck. And they all of a sudden are saying that I'm on my way to kill Joe Biden and Hillary Clinton. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm pretty sure if you were going to kill Joe Biden and Hillary Clinton, I don't think you'd go by your damn self. And I don't think I'd be taking knives. Uh, no. They literally posted that I had martial I arts, that. swords, and Chinese throwing stars. I saw that in the, the <laughs> video. I watched the video and I watched the, the, I read the thing and I was like, there's no fucking way. But guess That's what? Great. I was in New York and Joe Biden lives in Delaware. Yeah, yeah. So How does that make, make any Joe sense? Biden. Fucking retard. The, the lawyer joy on George Floyd's case. He also has a, a case in East Peoria that he, from a little girl that died in foster care. He, she was in the DCFS. I'm going to try and get a hold of him because he is out for people that are trying to uh, get DCFS in trouble for all their for all the games that they're pulling and stuff. So I am going to, I'm trying to find him so I can get in contact with him and talk to him. I cannot remember his name, but I'm going to research that tomorrow too. And I'm going to get in contact with him because he's got a big old freaking case. He's that's not, not the only case he has on DCFS about kids being kidnapped and dying in, DC, in the state's care in Illinois. Oh, well, then maybe we need to talk to him too, but I'm not really fond of George Floyd whole thing. Yeah, the, uh, I don't know. I wasn't either, but I just saw it. And, that I saw might an be article a total on the trap. Star about it. I'd be careful huh? with that one. That might be a trap. There's okay. these people are everywhere. Everywhere. Understand that. I'm just They they think they're tricky, but they're not. I'm trying to make sense of what they're trying to say, and they're trying to tell me that my kids can't come home when just or with Jesse being in here. All kinds of shit. All kinds of shit. And Jesse hasn't done anything wrong. He's done everything they've told him to do. I've done everything that they've told me to do. They told me in three months my kids would be home, and that was July, August. My kids should have been home in September. We're going into the new year, and they're still not home, and I just got overnight visits two weeks ago. Start getting loud. Does, did you talked about it on social media? Uh-uh, because I try to, I don't want... I have a, a lot of my family on there, and they're really judgmental, and you know Perfect. how my family is, Jessica. Well, guess what? You got to get loud if you want to get your kids back. You got to fight for them, Kara. I have been, and I just feel like I'm not... Well, then people need I to do know what they're doing enough. to you. People need to see what they're doing to you, too. If people see that they're doing it to more than one person, that, that might make them come out of their holes and stand the fuck up. Before they take yeah, before they take their children, because guess what? I know. My kids are going to be grown up here soon. What are they going to yep. do then? Uh, I know my lawyer has two hundred and fifty-seven DCFS cases. He told me. How many? Two hundred and fifty-seven. And the lawyer Jesse had before uh, the new lawyer, he told him he had over. 500 and he quit because he's tired of playing their games and uh 
taking the poor people's kids and trying to make give them the runaround. He quit. Who Derek, is that? Derek something. Derek. Derek. I can't remember. Derek uh, Shrone or something like that. It starts with an S. He quit because of it. Well, Jessica Davis can suck a dick. I wouldn't trust Jessica Davis as far as you can throw her little ass. Okay. Well, I was trying to get a hold of her to get a hold of you because I thought you guys were still friends and not Not after what she did to my children and what she did to me. That bitch blocked me. She drove away with my children and blocked me. Why? Because she's a fucking... She'd rather fucking go and fuck all her little fucking dudes than fucking actually do what's right for children. That's why. I hate this. I hate people like that that don't even... Oh, uh, man, don't even get me started on that. You already know what I I've been know. through with that shit. I don't want to even talk about it, really. It just pisses me off. The ones that are actually good moms and stand there and fight for their kids and do everything for their kids, they're the ones that they're taking their kids, they're the ones taking their kids mm. from. Jessica I don't understand got, it. Jessica gave her kids to her parents. All of them? She did when I was in Colorado. Wow. Wow. Well, when I, I was texting her or Facebooking her earlier asking how to get a hold of you, and I said I had some questions, I needed some advice, I needed to talk to you. And she's like, well, what's the questions, and I'll ask her. And I said, no, i just rather do it myself. Yeah, don't trust her, because she was working with Peggy. They were like best friends. It was the oh, craziest God. thing ever. I don't trust I mean, she literally I went. Anybody. She, I, I had, I, listen to this. I had texted her saying that, you know, something about this is why fucking people go and try to kidnap their kids from the system. And she went and showed the investigator who took my kids. Like, I can't vent to my, my so-called best friend who has my kids. Exactly. She made it sound like you know I was going to go kidnap my kids.